And what is going on? We are back with another exciting episode. Good evening and welcome to the first exhibition of 2023. And before we get things going, let's actually uh, let's do this proper. Let's actually get some music up in this piece. We need that. There we go. All right. So as I was saying... We are back to kick off 2023. I know that we actually did a stream about roughly about, what was it a week, week and a half ago? Somewhere around there. But as as great as that was, we, we thought that, you know what, we got to actually get it back to the grinds of, you know, the first to tens. And so we had two of our players decide to be really generous to step up to actually make that happen. So as you can see in the lobby, we are joined by no other than Jimbo Slice. 86 he'll be taking on the bsk this is going to be our first to 10 and i'm really looking forward to these guys and stuff so those of you guys up in the channel please give a hearty round of applause I'm really excited to actually see these guys throw down these guys actually have a lot, a lot of history uh playing each other in a lot of casual settings of course you know that they've actually have uh they have cross paths i believe once or twice in the rancher and brewer series but you know, now we're actually gonna switch gears and stuff. We're gonna see how these guys actually throw down for some first to 10. Right after that, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna wrap things up and um, we will likely be back tomorrow with the uh, the standard Battleground Exhibition Series. Uh, it's still, uh, still in the oven, so be sure to make sure that you're following us on the Twitter channel. Of course, you know that there's no other than Renshu Dojo. Uh, for all the highlights and such uh, because we actually had a little bit of a late start i'm not gonna waste too much time with any monologuing we're gonna go ahead and get things underway so these guys can go ahead and, and do what they do best so let me go ahead and get there to the bottom and like i said this is gonna be first to ten and you know what i forgot to actually hit something my bad I don't know if it changed or not. Oh, oh. I guess that's the characters they're going to be playing. <laughs> We're about to see. I, I remember Eddie telling me how much he actually wants the character select to be turned off. And so now it's off by default. So this will likely be the showdown unless they want to switch up. I will check in the Discord just to be sure that those are the characters they want to use. All right, so these guys actually did not get to fix the character, so we will actually have to go back to the character select. So this is actually going to be kind of like a button check. I figured that was going to basically happen, but you know, it's a good way to actually make sure all the buttons are set and then they'll, uh, to actually go up to their proper characters. Right. We're right back. Seems all these times and stuff. Capcom still actually hasn't uh, hasn't modified this netcode, which is like, you know, you you would think after all the patches that this thing would actually be much more ironed out. But you know, I digress. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, modify the settings real quick and reset the the counter. It's go time. 
Okay, one second here. Let's get this fixed up here. Should be good there. All right. So that was just a uh, preliminary warm up. Uh, character select has actually been re enabled, and so now the, car uh, the players will be able to select whoever it is that they're looking to represent uh, and actually go from there. So, yeah, appreciate you guys' patience, and we're going to go ahead and uh, let things get back underway. Just give you a little bit of history. Um, BSK has actually been known to uh, dabble in a few of the characters other than the one that actually you see on the uh, the cover photo and stuff. So more than likely, uh, he's probably going to settle on that character, but he's also been known to actually to, to represent um, his pocket character, Cammy. He's actually been grinding, um, but a lot of his focus has actually been spent on Ken. And whereas uh, Jumbo Slice actually has tried to actually be a bit of Jack of all trades. And I know that's a bit of a stretch because considering the extensive uh, roster that we actually have there, um, he, he's tend to build a good comfort level actually with uh, with Nash. And so appropriately so, as I put in the banner, it looks like that's what we're actually going to see for tonight. So here we go. First to 10, we have Jimbo Slice on the left and we got BSK on the right. Let's go and get things underway. Come on. I do not know why it's so uh, slow. I'm going to leave it like that for now. We'll see actually how it does on the uh, next match. Capcom, Capcom doing Capcom things as usual. <laughs> Alright, good crush down there from BSK. Looking for the, uh, the big whiff punish. Ooh. They really do look like they're fighting on the water. <laughs> I know it's not just me. Oh, great counter there. Nice anti here. Good read there from Jimbo Slice. Alright, solid punish there. Jimbo sitting on a very healthy lead. He does not need to overexert himself. He'll be able to convincingly uh, take this round if he plays it right. Ooh. Okay. Oh, just like that, man. Never count out BSK. Jimbo was sitting pretty on a magnificent lead, and just like that, that was clear. I don't even want to say robbery because BSK worked for that through and through, and he gets the first dub for the round. Nicely done. All right, gets a clean jump in. Executes with a nice optimal punish in the screen carry. Jumbo sitting on a decent amount of stocks. He does have to uh, carefully watch how he actually uses that meter. Ooh, man. That could have been a lot more painful than it looked. Okay, BSK playing nice and patient. Gets the corner, and Jimbo denies him at that clean brush counter. All right, what's he going to do? Oh, good guess. Jimbo Slice said, I'm not scared. Oh, is he going to connect with VT? And he does. Oh, how did that, bro? How did that miss? How? What happened? Well, he still managed to tie it up, but man, he was sitting pretty on a wonderfully executed V trigger too. Somehow that did not connect. Thankfully, he was able to make up for it and did not allow himself to get emotionally compromised uh, by that pure miss. Missed the anti opportunity there. Hopefully that doesn't happen too often in the set. Alright, nice and clean. Tries to make something happen with the standing HK. HK 
tries to make him get the guess. He can't get conversion. Is it going to connect? It does. Oh, he's testing to see if he's hitting buttons. Alright. What's Jimbo going to do here? He cannot afford to make a big gamble. It's early hit. No. And to still stay alive. Oh, almost. Almost. He did manage to take advantage of the invincibility frames. And he got it to convert. And Jimbo Slice advance. He gets, gets the very first W for the set. Nicely done. Very impressive. Right, let's see if this thing's going to convert. Can you show me one match? Yes, it does. Thank you so much. That took a little bit too long. <laughs> All right, there we go. Right. BSK unfazed. Nice call out. Mm. Okay. Just round two. Oh, I really thought that BSK was actually going to uh, let off the cross cut. He's actually uh, been known to do that so well and so expertly. Oh, another cross counter attempt. Alright, good evasion. BSK's in the clear. And just like that, he managed to easily clip away uh, Jimbo Slice Hope. Knocked him down to 50% and got two back-to-back -back throw loops. Jimbo Slice looking to make something else happen. Oh, how did that connect? Trixie. Sonic. Sonic. 50 seconds left on the clock. BSK is trying to stay alive. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh man, Nash wins. That was uh, that was kind of wild, man. Jim Slice out here doing Nash things, quite quite impressive. All right, that's gonna cut the current record in Jim Slice's favor so far. He's advanced by two games. He only needs eight more to close it out. Capcom, please. <laughs> I don't need slow down. Alright, nice and clean. Let's throw. Pressure's on. Almost like ever playing confident. Perfect was denied. Oh, once again, like I said, do never count out BSK. He's looking to get that redemption of damage. Nicely done with the overhead. Cross up with Tatsu, and it's going to. Oh my god, that could have went either way. That was literally a cinematic finish. And I was expecting BSK to just come right there to DP. Man, that would have been one for the history books, man. But you know what? That was still epic. Guys, totally went down to the wire. Nicely done. Eh. Okay. Oh, 
Guessing time? Is guessing time on? Oh, he lets it rip again. Wow. Nash wins. All right, Jimbo, we see you, man. Out here doing them Nash things. He's feeling pretty good about himself right about now. Alright, that puts Jumbo Slice at three games to zero so far. We get game number four underway. We know that VSK still actually has plenty of gas in the tank. Let's see if actually if we can turn things around. Ooh, early DP. Alright, gets the throw. Oh, nice V-Shift. One point, wonderfully activated. Okay. Nice. He's still in there. Oh, there we go. There's the cross cuts I've been looking for. Alright, VSK is back in there. We might have ourselves a really good match coming up. Good tech. Okay. Jimbo out here executing the target combos. They are in full effect. Oh, no, no. Nothing's going to happen there. Jumbo Slice is making uh, really good use of actually playing a, uh, a solid hit and run strategy, but at the same time, he hasn't been afraid to get his hands dirty, step in there, and uh, put BSK's de defense to the test. Oh, he actually got that cross up, and he's going to get the critical art. That's going to tie it up there and take us to final round in game number four. Wow. Well done. Don't have time for final round. Hey, right, Jimbo. Now here doing stuff. Ooh, once again, clean hands out here, man. He's definitely been on point. Okay, good block. Okay, nice. Oh, Capcom, please don't start doing that. You are doing so well. Uh, I can't wait till six comes out. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, getting back to the match. Team both both guys are are struggling a little bit for some optimal gameplay here of the of the latency. Oh, I really thought that he was gonna actually let off the uh, ex. Didn't have the critical art, but trust me, if he had that uh, in his toolbox, he would have let it rip. All right. Third loops back to back. He's going for the third. No. BSK's on a chase. No, good block there from BSK, and he's going to close that out, and he puts the first W on the board. There will be no sweeps today. Ken wins. All right, man. Out here doing stuff. Both players are looking to do their thing. They're you know, holding it down. All right, let's see what these guys see what they're made of. What's up next? Nice. Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. Nice. Looking good, looking good. Nice. 
It really could go either way between both players, though. In spite of the fact that uh, BSK uh, is uh, has a two uh, two game deficit, you can easily overtake that and make something actually uh, get back in the pack. Damn. Nice. Very nice. Whoa. I don't oh, sorry, man. My man's in the U.S. Let's get that fixed. Right, here we go. You know, I keep, I keep saying this guy is Jimbo Slice 36. I don't know why I have 36 on the brain. I'm sorry, bro, brother. All right. That way you guys can easily keep the score and get back there to the action. Okay. That was a janky air to air, but you know, we take those. Throw loops? No. All right. Jimbo Slice is uh, getting really hungry. He was very well composed in the first uh, two to three games, but now he's uh, he's, getting, he's getting like mom spaghetti here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys have promoted the reference. All right, both players burning meter. It doesn't matter. Jimbo Slice advances. It takes game number five. If you're just now tuning in, this is the Square Up First of 10 series brought to you by Spiral Boomer Entertainment on the mic. Yours truly, Koshudo, here representing the Spiral Boomer, Spiral Boomer Entertainment brand here for Venture Dojo. I'm so glad you guys could actually join us today as we kick off the very first First of 10 exhibition for 2023. Uh, we definitely are planning to have a few more before we, uh, let's say, we formally say goodbye to Street Fighter Five. Probably still have it uh, represented in some capacity, but. Uh, Come June 2nd, we're going to be on, on the Street Fighter 6 grind in full effect, but we have some ways before that's going to happen. So getting back to the action here, we see that BSK is on a tear, man. The damage and Jimbo Slice is looking to chip that away. Oh, man, he is trying to make something happen. BSK said, nah, man, hold that. This is my round. Nicely done, BSK. All right, BSK was looking to contest those uh, whip punishes, and he was able to get it through. Oh man, he says, "Nah, man, get back in that corner." Pressure is real. He almost likes to retaliate with the EX boom. I'm sorry, EX flash kick. Oh. Testing BSK's reactions. He's gonna DP you. The tech. Okay, fishing for an opening. You're gonna get it. Both players are just about even on hope. Who's gonna actually make the first mistake to drop it? It's gonna be Jumbo Slice and BSK takes it. It's two back-to-back -back wins for him. We have still got ourselves a set, my friends. Still signs of life. Very wonderfully done. No, no, it was actually really clean, too. He only made like one or two drops uh, during that particular set. But um, he didn't actually let it let it phase him, in spite of some of the things he actually told me offline. You know, he actually made some good conversions, and he was actually able to uh, to make it happen where it counted. And that's why he was able to get two wins back to back. Let's see if he can go for a third. Gotta watch your feet. Hmm. 
Crosscut's my favorite. They're actually not my favorite. I don't like when uh <laughs> when Deftones hits me with them. I only like doing them. I don't like getting hit by them. Alright, approaching the 50 second mark. BSK sitting pretty. And just as soon as I said that, it's <laughs> commentated curse. Jemo Slice is looking to shave away that lead, and he's probably going to get it! What a clean conversion from 11 hit. That was definitely a clippable moment. BSK said, nah, man, not that easily. Wow. Jemo Slice out here with the tech. That was really nicely done. I get poke from standing HK. HK is looking to get the corner carry. Nope. Oh, excuse me. Damn, look how much that took off. Ah, uh, Jumbo Slices is about to face a world of pain. Ah, oh, man, so much scaling. All right, let's see if Jumbo Slice can make a clutch uh, victory here. <laughs> Hold on a sec. One more hit's going to put BSK in stun. Oh, I thought Jumbo was going to get that standing HK anti-air. Oh, my God, how... Jimbo Slice has totally been eating his Lucky Charm cereal because, man, the moments there where he should have been bopped. And the universe said no. He advances. The record is now 5-2. to two. There are probably people in the uh, Renju Dojo that uh, likely tried to call this and said that it could likely be one-sided. But, you know, it really could go either way. It's still far from over. Jimbo Slice still actually has to win five more games in order to close out this set for the evening. Let's see if he can make it happen. Yeah, good punish there from BSK. He gets the side switch. Oh, once again. I him back in the corner. Throw. Poke. Clean activation there from Jimbo Slice, but he does drop it. Got a little bit too eager. Not like this. Oh, come on, Capcom, please. Right there, attempted poke there from Jimbo Slice. Nope, that's unsafe, man. That's minus 10. And BSK takes full advantage and he managed to advance. Round two. Nice, nice and clean. Oh, come on. Why is it? I do not understand the occasional lag that Street Fighter V has been bringing lately. It's so frustrating. Sonic! Okay. We've seen this so many times. Uh, times throughout the set this evening where one of the uh, players would actually be almost uncontested with this large lead and just like that uh, their opponent just manages to steal it away and this looks like it's going to likely happen again not if BSK has something to say about it he takes that nice and clean it's going to put them up on one more round getting ever closer to catching up to Jimbo Slice the record is now 5-3 to three. Jimbo Slice in the lead whew It's looking good, man. It's looking good, my friends. Looking good. Round one. Fight. Yeah. Came nine out of the way. Bro, this this unwarranted slowdown is so annoying, man. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. Super annoying. 
That's what I like to see. BSK is back in the grind. No oh, grunt poke there from Jumbo Slice. Ooh. I definitely know that was a game moment there. Having played uh, BSK many times, that was definitely not a drop reaction. That is clearly the game just acting up. You can you can actually see it. it was definitely not the fault of the player. All right, he's looking to get another throw loop. He does the shimmy. He's in effect. He's gonna make him beat it out. BSK has full space control there. And Jimbo Slices, look at this, makes something happen. He takes it from him and he puts him up into another round. It's now evenly tied. We go into the I final round, game number nine. Yeesh. Oh, Okay. Hadouken. Oh, Capcom, why? Why is it doing this lately, man? Bruh. The one game definitely needed like a boost in new netcode uh, algorithms or logistics or whatever you want to call it. Is this game? It desperately needs it. Um, why y'all doing this to me? <clears throat> All right, folks, I am going to invite these guys back. Uh, the record is still five to four. Jumbo Slice, of course, does need five more games. BSK needs six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, briefly uh, boot these guys out of the room. And I'm going to remake it just to actually test on something. Okay. We will be right back.
street. The third strike, y'all, a street fighter three. Okay, so we are back. Um, really cannot explain why lobbies lately for a lot of players have just been acting up, but um, yeah, suffice it to say, it's hella annoying. But what I went ahead and did is I uh, just decided to uh, remake the room. The record, as I said before, it is still 5-4, to four, uh, with Jumbo Slice taking the lead uh, by one game. You know, it's not really a huge lead, so it is still anyone's game. Uh, like I said, if you're just now tuning in, uh, welcome. This is the Square Up First to Ten series, hosted by no other than Spy Rumor Entertainment. On the mic is uh, yours truly, Koshuro. And uh, yeah, this has actually been quite uh, quite an interesting match, uh, in spite of uh, some of the glaring uh, latency things that I see that's been popping up and stuff. And at least uh, it's two or three games. <laughs> at least two of them. Not not too happy about that but you know uh very soon we won't have to worry about that because we'll be moving on to a new installment and stuff and you know it is what it is well that, uh that being said let me go ahead and uh get to the bottom of the lobby so these guys can go ahead and wrap up this uh this particular exhibition for this evening and then we will conclude for tonight so here we go Players are about to get back underway. Congress luck is still enabled, so of course uh, they do need to still stick with the characters that they initially were running with. So thank you guys so much for joining us this evening. Those of you guys could actually make it, uh, whether you're hailing from the Renshi Dojo or you just happen to be hearing through the interwebs, either way, uh, your presence is most appreciated. Likely we're still in the character select train. Now I always know why it takes so long and it loads. That's why Eddie's like, yo, turn that turn that shit off. <laughs> He's like, turn it off. Alright, here we go. Round one. Alright, hopefully this is a little bit better for the players. Uh, if not, it will be very over very soon. Nice throw. Hits him with the crush counter. Caught him looking. Oh, we got those, Jimbo? Okay, I see you. Good poke there from BSK. BSK is never patient. Almost hit him with the cross cut. Almost got him. Mmm, that's gonna do it. BSK takes the very first round. Ooh, premature um, target combo, but it actually paid off in Jimbo Slice's favor. 
manages to follow through with the critical R combo. Okay. Since, uh, since I believe uh, Gemma Slice is still playing on a PS4, I just had to dial down the settings a little bit. I figured they'd make it a little bit easier on his end. That could somehow be contributing to the uh, <laughs> to the whole uh, session between these guys. Nice. Okay, gets the B-Ship, wasn't able to follow through, but you know, you got the evasion, that's all that matters. Gemma uh, Slice is going to take his next W. Oh, I got to switch this now, this guy's wanting to switch sides. So we have officially reached a crossroads where it looks like that break might have paid off in BSK's favor. We are now, it is just as good as being back at zero to zero. They are tied at five games apiece. At this point, it is anyone's game. You can go either way. Really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Here we go, game number 11. Ooh, there we go. Nice and clean. That's what we like to see from DSK. Here we go. Once again. Cross cut. Back to back. He's on point. My oh, man's on fire now. Alright. Looks like we're about to see Jimbo Slice strike back. Hmm. Checking him. Button checks. <laughs> he was he was abusing the hell out of that out of that light kick, man. I mean, this guy is definitely testing testing. He's doing a uh, what we call a stimulus test. Looking for the reactions. Jumbo Slice is totally taking the bait, and he is getting clipped. Something serious. No! Got to look for that confirm, my friend. Oh, man. That was nice and clean. And for the first time, BSK... Takes the lead, rather convincingly, I would say. He now advances and has a lead by one game. Score is now six to five. Those of you just now tuning in, like, ah, oh, Shudo, it says two to zero. Well, that's why you got to look at the top scoreboard. It's six to five, and BSK is now officiating the lead. So I'm assuming that Jimbo Slice uh, either the one at a moment to take a brief break or he might swap out characters, which actually by Renshu rule sets is allowed. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to the bottom. If he does end up picking the same character, that's fine. But uh, being that he did take an L, he does actually have the option to pick another character. So we're about to find out. record remains unchanged that does not reset BSK is still 
in the lead by one game. The record is 6-5. to five. DSK only needs four more games. Let's do this. All right, sorry about that. Just uh, addressing a few things under the uh, Discord channel. All and here we go. And just like I said, it was likely for a character change. Jemo Slices decides that bringing in his alternate character, who's known as Kage. It should be interesting and stuff. He's actually going to have a head to head Shoto match. I'm really curious to see if this. Uh, Come on! This character selection is actually going to pay off in uh, Jumbo Slice's favor. Here we go. Now you gaze upon your death. Round one. Fight. Nice. So far, this can go either way. Oh, I know that. That DP was in your heart. Looks like BSK is uh, showing him truly who is the the, the proper Shoto here, and it looks like it's going to be a BSK. He takes the very first W. Round number one is now under his belt. Let's see what he can do in round number two. Can he close it out, or is Jimbo Slice be able to steal it away? Not looking good there. You can't uh, can't really go past those DP. Um, those some Dukans like that, huh? <laughs> Jimbo's like, yo, I have those too. Can you block from BSK? Nah, he's like, nah, we block those. Oh, almost got him with the uh, light DP. Mission for a response. Nope. Can block from BSK? Gonna go back and retaliate. He's gonna take the W. He cleanly activates the B trigger. It's gonna scale. It's gonna come very close to killing. Oh, he said, you know what? Empty the clip. <laughs> he said, I need you dead, sir. <laughs> Empty the clip. <laughs> oh, nicely done, man. Ken wins. He knew that it was gonna scale, and rightfully so. He actually let it rock with the DP. Shades of what's up, Eddie there. That was very nicely done. BSK is inching ever closer uh, to claiming victory on this first 2023 first to 10 set. Jimbo Slice was actually holding steady during the first uh, first phase of this session, I would say. But Shades of BSK coming back to life is definitely in the full effect here. Okay, game number 13 underway. Let's see if Jimbo Slice can actually. Uh, Take this back in his favor. Ooh, pokes, pokes. Bad trades on both sides. Mm -mm, can't be doing that. Okay, has to be played with a little bit more finesse. Some people like to yellow it, but you know, like the the real ones, the ones that are like truly on point, they know. Oh, oh, excuse me. Wow, you know what? I got hit. <laughs> I got hit right there. Did not see that coming. Mm. Impudent. I don't know if that's what he's saying. I just, rock. I just, you know, I let it rock. Ooh, okay. 
Trying to be tricksy. Okay, he's sitting, sitting pretty on his lead. He's gonna be able to keep it sealed. Oh yeah, that was clean, man. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it, but you know what? He made it for with the throw. That's all that matters. Is VSK gonna take his second back-to-back -back victory? Jimbo Slice can clip it away. Tension is definitely getting high. Okay. Yeah, he's like, nah, we're blocking that, man. Nice and clean there from BSK. Full conversion with critical art. That's definitely gonna hurt. Ooh. Milliseconds actually from clipping him with the Tatsu. The patience there from BSK blocking on all fronts. Comes back to the retaliation, the critical art. This time he's not going to be able to get the kill. He's wasted all the meter there. But I spoke too soon. He still got the W. And just like that, he gets his second back to back Ten victory. Wins. That's going to put him within two games of closing out this set. The record now moves eight to five. BSK in the lead against Jimbo Slice. He still got ourselves a match, you know. Jimbo Slice can definitely make something happen in spite of the fact that this is his, um, this is actually his first Round first one. 10 exhibition with the Rinchu Dojo. I'd say he's doing pretty well, all things considered. Cool! Clip! Buttons are definitely being checked here. Looks like he's in striking range and getting the stun. Good block from BSK. And he gets the overhead. Let's see if he's going to close it out. Are we going to reach the seven gun and letters? No. Good block there from BSK. Perfect denied. Ooh. Somewhere a wild. What's up, Eddie is smiling. He's like, here. Yeah. Hit him with the YOLO. Get him with the overhead, bro. That's so slow, really? Who does that? The shades of ST. Hey, we see you. I like the I like the fakes. I like it. Oh, that was almost a cross cut too. Jim looks like these button checks, man. <laughs> the 65 second mark. Jim Slice does not have enough help to gamble with. Needs to be ever more strategic. Go for Jumbo Slice. He's gonna need a moment and a prayer. Yeah, just like that. DSK approaching, approaching close. It's a set point. This might put him at game number nine. Oh man, he's not playing any games now. That's, that was definitely a statement being made there. 90 seconds left on the clock, and you taking off that much hope? Yeah, statements are being made. He's like, no, I want this man dead. Oh, okay. Man out here doing YouTube combo videos. <laughs> Good block there for me, okay? Second black to black. Good. In this case, waiting for his moment. And he had it right there. That was going to be it. Uh-oh. I know it's, it's going to scale. And he's going to let the critical art rip. Wonderfully timed. Beautifully executed. And that is going to put him within one game of closing out the set. Against Jimbo Slice 86. Ken wins. And the composure was real. I really like that clutch effect actually right there. He held it down.
Very nicely done, man. All right. Round this might one. be it, my friends. Fight. This might be it. Get almost like, like uh-uh. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna wake him work for it. What I say, Jim was like, "Y'all, I'm gonna make them work for it, man. It's not gonna take me out that easily." Good projectile clash, the tree. One thing I really like now that what they're gonna be doing in Street Fighter Six is that they, you know they really have uh, have added some significant improvements to the fireball game. I like that now that EX fireballs can actually do multiple hits, as before it used to only count as a single hit. You know, there's definitely going to be a, a, a much deeper meta game now behind that. Uh, especially your player is going to have to be more mindful of, uh, you know, with their use of meter management you know, during any given uh, any given situation in a match. You know, here it's like it's still it's still vital. It's just like you know, those of you guys that play the beta, you know, you'll be able to see what I mean and stuff. But yeah, we're really looking forward to seeing seeing that new uh, that new evolution. Just, I don't think that's been done in years. I think the only notable game that actually did that, at least from Capcom games, anyone's feel free to to, uh, to let me know in the chat, was uh, was actually Darkstalkers. All right, BSK is uh, sitting on set point. He just needs one more game. His health bar though is not looking too good. And it looks like Jim Lucas might be able to close out this round. And he gets it. Now puts him in the tie. He still has quite a bit of a lead to come back from, or rather a deficit. BSK only needs to close out this one last round. He will be claimed our official victor for the first to 10 exhibition here for 2023. At least for January. Oh, uh, a fireball clash. I'm walking! Yeah, well, it looks like he's probably not used to this. His cake is literally playing old school. I like it. He's like, nah, bro. You're going to have to come to me. I think it was paying off more for him when he was actually stepping up their offensive a little bit more. But you know what? I like the adjustment. Let's see how Jumbo Slice is going to respond. And man, did I ever get hit? Slice managed to advance that puts him within three games now of tying this back up. One thing for sure is these guys have kept it interesting, man. It is definitely, it has not been as one sided as uh, I'm pretty sure some guys from the, from the dojo would have. Would have expected uh, not only given uh, VSK's you know personal rank, but just his overall dedication to the game. You know that, that's one thing I have to say. You know, especially for the guys here in our dojo, is that while the rank does play a significant factor, uh, fundamentals it actually tends to really help to, uh, to keep a lot of players grounded, help them be able to prevent from being easily walked over. You know that really does say a lot, and it's a it's a huge. Uh, a testament actually to Jimbo Slice's own dedication because uh, he's definitely has come a long way uh, since joining our Dojo. But getting back in the match now, we actually are now in uh, game number 16. Which likely might be our final game if uh, BSK is able to close this out. Old school. Oh, nice and clean. Wonderful conditioning in there, man. I did it. Yes, you did Round do it. Two. All right, we've, uh, we've sung this song once many times before. BSK now in potentially series point here. Throw loops. Ooh, the cross cut. 
Oh man, I got hit there too. What, Drex? I, I see the intent from BSK. He wanted to clip him that DP. Getting those slices, checking them buttons. Try to close it out with the overhead. All right, one more hit, and BSK can close this out. Oh, what? What? He's playing with his food. Our parents told us about that. They're like, why are you really eat your vegetables? Finish your plate! In this case, you finish your combos. Don't play with your food. Alright, here we go. Oh, my man. Missing the, those cross cuts, man. It's gotta be a controller input there. Really, Jim? You got those? Is he gonna go for another one? Aw. I was about to put down my headset, man. <laughs> if he did a, a, a third throw loop in a row, I was going to be like, nah. Alright, we've seen this cinematic finish before. DP into the critical R for the cinematic finish. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as we see that BSK has successfully taken down his opponent, Jimbo Slice. The final Can't record win. is 10 to 6. And man, what a battle! That was wonderfully done. That really could have went either way, man. Wow. I'm, I'm really impressed, man. Whew. This case probably like, yo, it's over. Thank God. <laughs> it's go time. I'm not going to put my man out there, but yeah. You know, oh, Jimbo Slate's already left. I was going to. I was going to try and holler at him. It's like, yo, I'm out, man. <laughs> All right, man. That was uh, that was good. That was good. That really could have went uh, either way. That really could have went either way. And um, unfortunately, actually, Jumbo Slice left a little bit earlier before I expect this. I will have to give him his regards, actually, uh, in the Discord chat. Uh, everyone that actually watched the stream, especially if you are in the, uh, in the Renshu, uh, Discord uh, channel, you know, please put your hands together and, and give uh, Jumbo Slice a huge, genuine round of applause because that was his first, uh, his first time participating in one of our first ten exhibitions, and I would say that he's did very well, all things considered. Um, he has put in a lot of effort. He is. He has taken more than his share of L's. I'll basically just put it like that. And to be able to put on that type of performance like he did, especially with someone of uh, BSK's caliber, you know, that, that that really does go a long way. So congratulations, my friend. Uh, hold your head up high uh, because that was really a great set to actually see between the both of you. Most importantly, uh, you know, good stuff to BSK. I definitely know your feelings for this game. And uh, in a lot of ways, I don't blame you, but you stuck it out and you came in when it was needed. You know, on the request to actually participate and kick things off for 2023 here in January, and uh, it really goes a long way to you know to see that you're able to step back into the into the battlefield and uh, and throw down actually tonight with one of your uh, fellow brethren. So thank you so much. But uh, that's gonna do it for now, man. Yeah, you know, it was uh, it was fun. It was really fun to be able to see that. And if everything still uh, manages to go to fruition, I promise you that this will not be the end. We will try to have at least several more exhibitions before we come to a close and by close i mean as we formally bid adieu that means goodbye to street fighter 5 championship edition man what a what a, a ride it's actually been uh, to see that this game has come such a long way from it's somewhat unfinished state you know it, it, it definitely received a, a lot of a flack um just due to like its history but you know the, the devs stuck with it uh, a little bit later towards its life cycle uh, they had a change in the guard uh, and that's really the whole reason why we we're actually able to get a season five you know it was not supposed to happen but uh, you know thankfully um, just due to things that were happening behind the scene the players just, uh, were, were blessed by, by having actually another another season with characters and a, a few more uh, patch changes 
you know, just in order to uh, buy some more time for the eventual release of Street Fighter Six, and you know, and we actually had to got to play that. Um, those of you guys that actually got to play the beta, I, of course, was was blessed with that. And you know, it was quite an experience. You know, I was really happy to see the direction they're trying to take this game. Where, um, you know, and I probably will talk about this in an upcoming stream, maybe sometime next month, uh, because uh, I actually have to get things underway. Uh, for a highly anticipated tournament and I will probably announce that uh, if not tomorrow I'll probably will be announcing it by Friday um, so yeah there's definitely a lot of things that are going to be underway but I probably will dedicate some time to Street Fighter 6 properly to go over some things either by uh, using my streams or maybe I could reach out to one of the uh, one of my fellow players and stuff be able to go through their stuff I don't know we'll, we'll figure something out but uh, with that being said Street Fighter 5 is far from over if you guys actually want to catch up on more action, then please, guys, uh, please do me a solid and actually visit us over to YouTube channel because we actually have more content there. And as you can see, there's the clip actually right there for Spiral Boomer, uh, where we actually have archive content, uh, not only for you know, Street Fighter V, I'm actually going to be getting back into some standard mainstream streaming. And I'm even like, you know, spending some time doing a couple of YouTube shorts, which actually want to try to expand the uh, the content palette with few more games that are just not just about fisticuffs. You know, try to get into some more of the games that are actually near and dear to my heart. And even a couple of uh, upcoming releases that are going to be set to release later in 2023. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it and stuff. Uh, you know, I'm really glad that uh, to see things that actually been able to kick off for the past year since we've actually started the Renju Dojo. Um, all the content that, like I said, you want to check out, you could be you will be able to find there and digest at your own timetable. And we probably will be having more details soon if you guys like really enjoy the content and you just want to be part of a you know a toxic free uh, dojo and stuff that's just like you know wants to share the you know the camaraderie and just be able to have a, a wholesome environment to enjoy fighting games. You know that's really what it's all about. So yeah that's uh that's pretty much all I got for you guys now. I thank everyone. Big shout out once again to Jumbo Slice and BSK for uh you know Help me to put that together on a relatively short notice. Uh, you guys definitely did not disappoint with the competition. I was really, really impressed. And uh, I intend to actually have a few more. So uh, make sure that you follow me on Twitter at Spiral Boomer. And of course, once again, if you want to catch up on any of the content, you can also find that over on our YouTube channel. Same name, the Spiral Boomer. Uh, that's going to do it for now, guys. So thank you so much for watching and for tuning in. Wherever you are in the world, um, if it is that you like to support, I definitely appreciate it. But that's going to do it for now. So, guys, take care. This is Koshudo signing off, and you guys have a wonderful evening. Have a good night.